The International Olympic Committee rolling out new gender inclusive guidelines after facing criticism from top female athletes. The rules now reflect fairness toward trans athletes who compete in women's sports. In a statement, the committee says, quote, principle four recognizes that sports organizations may at times need to issue eligibility criteria for sex segregated competition to maintain a fair and proportionate distribution of competitive advantages among participants. It also recognizes the particular importance of advancing equality for women in sport and preserving fair and meaningful competition for elite women athletes, which may require criteria that limit eligibility in some cases, end quote. Investigative correspondent Rich McHugh joins us with details about what's described as a monumental update. Rich, so what are the new guidelines and will they make women's sports more fair? It's really confusing, Nicole. It's, it's hard to unpack this, but I'm going to do my best. So the way it was previously written uh, in the last year that they had updated the guidelines, they had decided, the IOC had decided there was no presumption of advantage for trans women athletes. They've updated this now to, to make it more inclusionary, that it's they equally consider the inclusion of transgender athletes and fairness for women, like both equal, equal weighting to that, and that the opinion of scientific and medical experts are taken into account along with human rights advocates. Um, some are saying this is going to make this more confusing. It also, they're, they're pushing these decisions to the, each sport's governing bodies. So they're not ruling outright. They're saying it's going to be up to an individual sport basis on how they decide. I actually reached out to a board member of the U.S. Olympic Committee for his take, John Neighbors, a former Olympian. He said, I believe the new IOC guidelines indicate that while they believe the assumption of an advantage may be inappropriate, the possibility of an advantage is not. This should allow the evidence to speak for itself. I believe this is a policy we can all live with. Okay, so individual yeah. sports will make their own decisions. You spoke to three-time Olympian Inga Thompson earlier today. Rich, let's take a listen to that. Yep. It is beyond unfair. They have they have sold out women in favor of having more opportunities for for more males. I mean, it, it's. It's horrific what they're putting out there, their lack of understanding of uh, the human rights issues of fairness and equality for women. It's, it's beyond horrific what they are doing to the women. And if you really want to have true inclusion, you need to start another category, which is, you know, we have sex separated category, we have age category, we have weight category, we have para category. You know, there are all these categories. So why in this one particular area do we need to take this? and put it into the women at the exclusion of women. Okay, Rich, so, you know, those of us outside of the Olympics can have an opinion. This is from somebody who is an actual former Olympian. Is that a common reaction? It's common among the, the women's groups and women athletes groups I'm seeing on social media. You know, this kind of caught everybody flat footed. It came out on a Sunday and people weren't even paying attention. Now that they're reading actually through the language, they're saying, this isn't this isn't really about fairness for women in their opinion. This is not this is about e e inclusivity for for transgender athletes. You know, so Rich Leah Thomas, uh, a trans woman, an American swimmer, her participation in the NCAA Women's Championships caused controversy. Critics say she had an unfair advantage over women uh, born biological females. Uh, how did Thomas's case influence the Olympic Committee's decision? I think it was everything, Nicole. I mean, they put so much pressure on all of these governing bodies last year and heightened the tension uh, around this. And so I think everybody would say that Leah Thomas's case uh, made them force their hand to, to change their rules and then change them again. She has her eyes set on the 2024 Summer Olympics. So this, 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 these new guidelines will absolutely affect the conversation around Leah Thomas going forward. Absolutely, and that conversation will certainly continue because so many opinions on all sides of this. Uh, okay, Rich, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.